yeah hello guys uh this is jokes production and welcome back again i uh, really appreciate that guys and i really appreciate your comments so i'll do my best to do what what you have requested yes i read, I read your comments guys i got this request that uh, i should show how to root my drums uh, in studio one using contact so i'm going to show you how i root my drums in studio one uh, using contact and I'm going to use tone register drum kit uh, so the good way that you should root your drums first you should uh, load uh, your instance of contact here and then um, you should come up here just click there and then allow this function is called outputs okay you see your default outputs that contact uh, has already given you there are several there I think there are, yeah, I, don't, I don't know one two three four five so what you're going to do is to create new outputs for your drum kits okay uh, okay so for example you just come here to this plus click there so this is the area where you have to be careful a little bit so what I'm going to do here is to choose the quantity the number of channels that I need I'm going to choose the amount of tracks that I need so I'm going maybe I'm, I'm going to choose 10 tracks just for example okay I'm, going, I'm not going to use all 10 and then the number of channels I just leave a uh, stereo I mean two channels mm -hmm. coming down here to this standard or uh, host output just click here and choose the first one uh, just choose the first one okay uh, after doing that uh, this function that you should enable is called delete the existing uh, channels so that the ones have created they can just come and replace the ones that uh, the, the ones that are found the default ones okay so after doing that just click ok mm, the next thing that you have to do is is to rename the tracks okay so for example um my, the first one the first output i'll just leave it as i'll just leave it as my main um uh, my, my main track like that we contain all the drum all the drum kits or the all the we can say the drum set maybe it's, it's like my main bus of the of the plugin so I'll just leave it as my main bus. Then I just come to the other part, to the other channel. And maybe I will name this as a kick. Maybe I, I want my kick. Oh, sorry. So I will name this as kick. What? What I'm trying to do here is to uh, switch on the what the capsule lock. Mind you, capsule lock is the shortcut of the, um, the on-screen keyboard of Studio One. So I'll just click shift and then right kick okay yeah this is how this is the part where you have to rename all your channels get you cannot get confused so kick maybe snare just do that do, do for all of all of them do for all of them guys i suggest that snare high heart okay just like that yes so after renaming all the track that you need them to appear according to the names that you give them after doing that you should save this preset yes so what you do you just come to this disk click there and then go save as malt as just click here okay and then just wait for it after doing that just like you have to write the name of the malt output so maybe let's say uh, let's call it drums then click save after saving the preset I will um, I'll just go and move instrument I'll just go and right click here and move track and instrument uh, you will need contact to reconfigure all the channels are reopening it again so I'll just open it again here it might go to the default one so as for me uh, the way I I did I did to my contact plugin I configured the preset to be default as synthage preset output but um, remember that you saved your pro your project okay so what you have to do your outputs you get them here just come to this disk and then come to load you will find the recent okay I mean the recent kits that you saved okay so just come here and load this is called drum one okay just click there and load it after loading it like that, it's already, it's already appealing. If you don't see it, just come here and select output. You see them here, kick, snare, hi-hat. Okay, I just named few because uh, I want to show you an example how you do it, okay? So I will just load my drum kit, turn register. 
okay i have to say something here this the way i'm doing here it may differ to your uh, to your plugin okay to your contact plugin but um after configuring all the channels uh the next step that you you uh, you need to do is to save it as default output for your contact yeah it might work like that it depends okay that's why i said it, it depends with your contact plugin okay yeah you might have to save it as, uh, to save as default so that next time you open it it just there okay to my side i just decided to put it like that and it works for me so if it doesn't work for you do as i say that when you open your tracks i mean when you configured your outputs okay you should save it as default let's continue excuse me so this is our kit after doing that let's go and configure all the outputs in our kit so I'll just click here and just get rid of these outputs i will go to this mixer one and then to this uh, kick i'll just click to this uh, I'll click down here and then select the first channel i just left it make a main bus i'll go to the next one that i've renamed it kick so i just click kick then i go to the second one snare second i go the third one okay this is the second snare I just wrote hi-hat come on okay, guys excuse me I just wrote a hi hi-hat but you you change it okay guys you change the name okay I will, I will change the name later okay it's simple as that guys just add your your kits to the specific tracks and then you're good to go this is six this is seven this is eight this is nine yeah and so on and so on after doing that you're good to go so when I play my kit it's so assigned to my tracks so what do you next just close there and then come to the mix here and then open this you find all my tracks all my 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 kits assigned to their specific tracks yes so when i play them they're all the, the tracks right But consider renaming your tracks guys it's really important to rename your tracks guys yeah so that's how you you, you can root your drum kit inside studio one uh, using contact i think i made uh, the same video about i was using addictive drums yeah you should go and check them guys uh but as for today i hope you got the noise i hope it was helpful don't forget to click the like button and comment and share this to a friend as always peace